Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Jonah Mercado. And I'm Ethan Nguyen. Today is Thursday, February 2nd, and we're here with your daily announcements. The 2022-2023 school yearbook is now on sale for $90. Pick yours up by scanning the QR code on screen now. Now, let's pass it on over to Damon and Angelina for your In the News update. Good morning, I'm Angelina Duarte. I'm Damon Ramos, and welcome to your In the News update. Republicans working to keep Donald Trump from becoming the GOP, GOP's presidential nominee in 2024 say the more the merrier when it comes to the number of candidates who could be competing against him. While more than a dozen Republicans have tested the presidential waters, GOP operatives, conservative activists, and potential candidates expect fewer attempts to wrestle the nomination than the first time he was on the ballot. So many candidates sought the nomination then. The GOP held two tier debates to fit everyone on stage. Republicans who want to dump Trump say the party risks failing to consolidate fast enough around an alternative candidate and winding up with Trump as his nominee again, much as they did in 2016. New York Republican Representative George Santos stepped down from his House committee assignments on Tuesday after the outcry over the lies he told during and after his campaign. Santos is confident that he has nothing to hide, saying, quote, with the ongoing attention surrounding both my personal and campaign investigations, I've submitted a request to Speaker McCarthy that I be temporarily recused from my committee assignments until I'm cleared, end quote. The death of a WM double amputee wielding a large knife whom police shot in Huntington Park, California, has sparked a national outcry against the use of force against a person with a disability. Police say that Anthony Lowe, a black man who lost both his legs last year and had not yet received prosthetics, stabbed a person last Thursday before they used a stun gun and shot him about 10 times throughout his upper body. The stabbing victim was a 46-year-old man who was stable in a hospital awaiting surgery. Lowe's family questions why it was necessary to kill a man who needed a wheelchair to get around. The officers involved have been placed on paid administrative leave pending the outcome of the investigation. That's all the news we have for you this week. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Angelita Doherty. And I'm Damon Ramos. Back, Back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. Interesting news. Thanks, Damon and Angelina. Track practice officially begins next Monday on February 6th, right after school. You must have a stamped clearance paper in order to attend practice. If you have any questions or concerns, contact either Coach Taylor, Billings, or Lassiter. There is a mandatory informational meeting for the fall 2023 football season today after school in HG5. Coach Billings' room is to cover the off-season schedule and program expectations for the 2023 school year. If you have any questions or concerns, please go to Coach Billings' room or Coach Lassiter in the Boys PE office. This month is Black History Month. Let's check out BSU's Daily Fun Fact. What's up, CO? I'm Hanan Canada. And I'm Maya Roberts. And here's your Black History Fun Fact of the Day. Black History Month was created by Carter G. Woodson, who was an author and historian. He went on to become the second African American to earn a PhD at Harvard University. Realizing that the American education system provided little teaching about the accomplishments of African Americans, Woodson founded what's now called the Association for the Study of African Americans' Life and History. The month started as a week and began as a showcase of everything students had learned about black history in the year. The second week in February was originally chosen to coincide with the birthdays of Frederick Douglass, an abolitionist, and President Abraham Lincoln, the president who officially abolished slavery. However, in 1976, President Gerald Ford converted it into a month long of history event. Thanks, guys. Very knowledgeable. COHS BattleBots is creating custom messages and Spotify wood keychains and is currently selling them for five dollars. If you want to buy one, please scan the QR code shown and pay in HF2 or at their booth during both lunches, which will run from February 1st to 8th. For more information, DM their Instagram at cohs.battlebots. Well, that's everything Wolfpack. I'm Jonah Mercado. And I'm Ethan Nguyen. Remember the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy Groundhog, Groundhog Day, Day Wolfpack. Wolfpack. Thank <laughs> you.